Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we're gonna do brakes on my BMW X5M. Uh, the brakes aren't, there's nothing wrong with them as far as the pads, it's just the dust. I'm gonna try a couple of things right now, um, just different compound and see if that works out. I'm trying to retain my initial bite. Hopefully I can retain that. So we'll get started. Um, we'll show you the few things you need. All right, take two. We're gonna do this one more time. This is my great tools. I got my Craftsman Torx bit set. Hopefully this works out and we'll see where we go from there, guys. All right, let me get the wheel off and we'll get started. Things we'll need is a jack. You'll need a way to remove the wheels. Here's a breaker bar. Um, you can use impact driver if you want. You'll need a Torx uh, setting here. You'll need some grease, small hammer. You'll need a hanger. And for the rear brakes, you'll need a caliper depressing tool. And we'll need a tool to knock the pins back. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Also, you'll need brake pads. I went with the Hawk. Um, these are the HPS 5.0 pads for the front and the Akabono Euro for the rear. So we'll see how it works out. Step one, we need to pop out these pins using this tool and take a smaller hammer and just tap the back of this to pop it out. All right, you just need to hit it a few times, push it back. careful with this because you can easily damage your paint if this slips and you hammer it and you chip the paint on the caliper so be careful okay here if you look at the caliper starting from the front and going back it's a Torx 55 work light there to help me get some extra light back here so you can see but there's a second one right there
right, these pads are huge. These are big old pads. Let me think about it. But I guess you need something like this to stop this heavy vehicle. Uh, these are Brembo, but it says, I don't know if you guys, if you can see that marking, can I focus in here? Focus, please. There we go. Wait. Paged. Paged. I don't know. These are the brakes that were on it before. So, I'll try these other ones. I gotta reset the pistons back in here. Okay, before we can continue, I need to push the pistons back into the caliper to get it to reset. So if you look here, these are all the pistons. We got six of them, three on each side. So I'm just gonna use my hand and you can essentially just press in this. But you squeeze one, another one's gonna come out. So it usually takes a couple working it back in slowly. good now so I'm going to get my new pads these are my new ones I'm just slide them in here just like this Once they're slid in, we can now slide it over the rotor. Carefully. And these bolts that we removed, these bolts here, they can now go back in. Get one started, a few threads, and then you can do the back side. I wouldn't tighten the top until you do the bottom. At least get the bolt in there first, and then we can work on the second part. Tighten it, 70 uh, foot pounds of torque on these bolts. From here, reinstall our pins.
and that's front brake install and optional if you want to clean the caliper now's the time to do it before you put the wheel on just spray it with brake cleaner let's give it a good wipe and it'll bring that audit grease off the caliper face of it We get to this side, gotta be careful on the driver's side because the sensor is plugged in so you don't wanna pull that out, rip that out there. Um, sometimes I just get by if I can, I'll use the sensor. If I damage it, then I'll replace it. I usually try to keep one handy. In this case, I don't think I have one. At least I can't find it. Give it a little more challenge. Let's see if I can put a screwdriver in here. I only use those counterweights. Let's see if I can wedge it. Give me a little space. Now I should be able to slide this off. out this one has a sensor If I did order the sensor, I just pull this off, come out of here, and it plugs in right here. Notice these pads have these counterweights on them too. Uh, these weights, I think, help keep the pad from chattering when it's in here. Like that. Quick note here. If you want to change the rotor, once you get the caliper off, you'll need this tool. This is HB5 X tool it goes right in here. You then remove the set screw and the rotor should be able to come off. If you're doing it on rear brakes, you'll need the app Beamer Link to remove the rotor. If you're just doing pads, you're okay. But if you're doing the rotor on the rear, you'll need a way to retract the electronic parking brake, which is a drum style in the hub, in the rear hub. So the best advice is, or easiest way is to go ahead and get the Beamer Link app, pay the $30 or whatever it is right now. Um, with that, you can go in there, hit the one button, and it'll automatically release the parking brakes. So you can go through the rotor. Okay, rear brake's a little bit easier. I'm gonna pop this pin out. A little flat head. And 
And then from there, there's some dust covers back here. Should be a seven millimeter uh, hex. This part's a little tight. I'll be honest with you, it was tight. I can't remember if it being as tight with my F15. But either way, I think if you could just get a regular hex and try to muscle it that way instead of using the socket, might be a better option for you. All right, so that was the only thing that could fit into this space. I had to actually go to use a seven millimeter uh, hex key. Seven millimeters, one. It was just nothing to break it loose. Um, there's a better way. Please let me know. Uh, I was just a little frustrated with this here in the beginning. But now that it's loose, I can just turn it by hand using this piece and I should be able to remove the caliper from here. So it's interesting to see. Uh, these are the Techstar from BMW, and on the front pads they use a Paget front. So those rear pads are going with the Akibono Euro. Says these are a ceramic pad. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and squeeze this forward. And for tracking it, let's use the old pad. This piece is going to go back in here. Grease. I realized I did not show how the clip goes on, but the clip goes on, you pop it in like this, make sure the feet are pressing against the pad, not in here like this. They have to be outside 
So if you go back here, side two, make sure they're on a, the bottom, not anywhere else. So that's how the clip goes on. All right, well, I'm done uh, with the brakes. You see the back of the X5 is still sitting up a little bit higher. I think the air suspension needs probably needs time to readjust there. But I had to reuse my sensors because I couldn't find my old ones, my new ones. Only to get the job done and look at my cabinet and sure enough, here they are. My brake pad sensors. So there's a, that's the front, I think. I believe this one's the rear. But anyway, um, I just hope that when I replace it, I reuse it, hopefully it doesn't cause any problems. If not, at least I know I have the sensor and I can just take the pad off and go from there. All right guys, before I conclude the video, I'm gonna drive for about a week. I'm gonna see how much brake dust accumulates on the wheels. I'm gonna give you guys my findings. I'll put it here at the end of the video. Next one coming up, I'll let you guys know, I'll let you guys see. So um, we're done for now. Didn't like those uh, Hawk brake pads. So I'm switching out to the Z23 carbon fiber ceramic brake pads. Um, the reason I didn't like the Hawks were initially I, I liked the braking feel. It felt the same as OEM. And, but after driving for a week, I could experience, I noticed during day-to-day -day traffic, I was like, wait a minute, it's not, it is, def it is definitely losing some of its feel. It doesn't have the same bite a bit before. And it gave off more brake dust than the OEM. So if it's gonna do more brake dust and not gonna brake feel, I'd rather go to OEM, but I'm gonna try these first. If these work out, if these can give me something close and less brake dust, great. If not, I'll be switching back to OEM pads. As far as my rear pads, my Akebono Euro for the rear brake pads, perfect. I get very little brake dust on the rear. I wish they made something for the front. Um, if they were watching this video, I would hope they would make a pad for this because I think they would get a lot of sales, but we'll see. Um, try these, uh, power stops, I believe what they are and go from there. All right. This is, this is after I did how many miles with this. I believe I did over 100 miles with these brakes and there's dust, but honestly, guys, it's, it's reduced a lot. I would say probably 50% of uh, brake dust reduction with these new stop tech pads. I'll continue to update you guys as we go along the way. So if something changes, I'll make sure I make another video to give you guys an update. But so far, I like it. The brake feel is still pretty good. Um, obviously, the initial bite isn't completely OEM, but it is better than the Hawks. And I would say I'm looking at maybe about a 15% reduction in brake feel, but it's hardly noticeable. And that once you start, once you get on the brakes and some heat generates is, you almost have to come off the brakes a little bit because they start to grab. 